Okay, this is my junkyard Cadillac 55 Coupe de Ville. Bought this out of a junkyard right outside of New Orleans. It's been raining ever since I got it, but I have gone ahead and jacked up the rear end so I could climb under it so I could look around because I'm real curious as to what kind of condition it's in. For sitting in a junkyard, it's in pretty good condition. You would think a junkyard car would be missing a lot of parts and components, but it's not. It seems to be all here. It's got all of the stainless steel trim. Got the fender skirts both sides. A little, a little bit of damage there. Rockers are rotted out as expected, but the trim is still there. I've got the hubcaps. I took them off so I could put some uh, penetrating oil on the lug nuts so I can take the wheels off when I need to. It's got, it's even got these little flappers here on both sides that cover the top of the window. When you close the door, when you open the door, they pop up. I would have expected those to be missing. It's even got the windshield wipers, headlight doors, parking light lenses, the trim, badges, hood ornament. It's even got the side view mirror and the antenna. It is an original factory air conditioned car. Coupe de Ville. Seems to be mostly here. Like I said, for sitting in a junkyard, I would have thought a lot of parts got robbed off of it. So here we are with the hood up. It's got the it's got the air filter, the original oil bath with the fancy shroud on it. The oil filter canister, the power steering canister, the power brake assist. The distributor, the ignition, wires, everything's all there. Uh, the only thing missing here is the compressor for the air conditioner. But you can see the brackets are still there and the attachment lines, the lines are still there. The condenser is still here. Uh, this little gadget here, I forget what it's called, but it's all still there. There's, uh, the wiring looks a little sketchy, but it's all there, seems to be. And the interior is, of course, pretty rough. I've got one door panel. Actually, I have both door panels, but the other one's in even worse condition. But at least this gives me an idea of what it's supposed to look like. And it's got some of the original material there. The floors, obviously, are rotted out. I would have expected that. And... Someone has patched it with what appears to be a, a roll of aluminum coil, like, like you would use when you're putting vinyl siding on a house. I popped the back seat out to check the floorboards under the seat. They are pretty much, they're there, but there's holes in them, so they'll have to be replaced. I don't know what the story is on this striped seat cover. I don't know if that's original or if somebody did that at some point in this caddy's life. I don't know. The, uh, the dashboard's intact. It even has the um, glove box still in there, which is pretty cool. Visors are still there. The headliner was there, but I, it was all dry rotted and hanging down, so I went ahead and tore it out. But all of the um, support, support hardware is still there. So that's going to help when it comes time to putting it all back together. The glass is basically here except for the side windows and the doors. The glass is in 
not the greatest condition but it's still here and I don't know if these were added on because I don't know if 55 had these or not those uh, little gills right there I've, I think I've seen one or one or two 55s that had those but not all of them this is the only real body damage right here probably knocked that out pretty easy got the tail light lenses all the hardware badges and it's been raining ever since I got the car so I haven't had time to do too much with it but I did jack it up because I wanted to see what it looked like underneath and it's uh, heavily scaled with rust the only thing I see wrong under the car is one of the straps for this gas tank is missing there on the left so the tanks only held up by one strap and also the passenger side leaf spring it's got a broken spring it's broken forward of the mounting point on the axle and it's also got a crack in one of the other leaf springs so that's shot there but other than that scaly rust a lot of rust and I might find some Bondo when I when I start stripping this thing still got both fender skirts on it I don't know if I already mentioned that but Anyway, that's it. It's uh, February 23rd, 2019. I just got the car about a week ago. And like I said, I got it from a junkyard in Louisiana. And I'm going to try to bring this baby back to life. First on the list of things to do will be to rebuild a carburetor. And then tune it up, put a tune up in it. Points, plugs, condenser, rotor cap, wires, and the um, coil taking the carburetor out looks fairly simple I don't know if that spring is original but the uh, the rod that goes from the pivot mechanism to the throttle valve throttle body goes through the linkage and the spring actually connects to a hole on the other side of that rod once it goes through the linkage that's pretty clever and simple the heavier rod right there is your passing passing gear I believe is what you call it, it goes with the transmission I have not worked on cars in many many years but I learned to work on cars back in the 70's in high school so this hopefully is uh, something that is not beyond my capability but I know it's going to take a while this is more than a more than a year long project probably and right now my original intention was to get the car get it running and just kind of drive it as a rat get it running maybe do the suspension and obviously the brakes and get it running as a rat but I don't know I'm kind of falling in love with the car it is a numbers matching car. The number on the right frame rail behind the motor mount matches the number on the engine pad in front of the right hand cylinder head. So that's pretty cool. And then the fact that the car seems to be 99.9% .9 complete. It's not in great shape, obviously. It's gonna take a lot to get it going but it's a pretty awesome starting point I think and I'm looking forward to it and I'm just kind of documenting this as I go today and kind of for my own entertainment right now but I did want to sort of document the work that gets done to the car